Good afternoon. Welcome to Brooks Law Group Friday's Inside Look by Brooks. Steve Brooks here. Um, today's topic is one. I, well, let me do it. Let me say it this way. I put um, I put a message out there to some of our case managers, and there was agreement that one of the most commonly asked questions of a new client is this: Why is the process so long and drawn out? And, you know, I think one of the reasons that I do these videos is to help dispel the common myths that I find out there about this type of law and how these cases operate. Um, I explain to our new clients, and we even came up with a diagram, there are a minimum of 36 touch action points that have to take place in a personal injury case before the time of the actual incident, the injury, and the time it's concluded. And I, I know you can't read the writing, but here's a, a timeline of the touch points that we need to be involved with to make a personal injury case move from point A to point Z. And a lot of it is client focus, meaning the all personal injury cases are medically driven. So treat medical treatment for your injuries doesn't happen overnight. If you've suffered a back injury, a neck injury, a shoulder injury, a knee injury, whatever kind of injury it is, there's a certain process and protocol for that treatment. And until you complete the treatment, your attorney, whether it's us or some other attorney, would be short selling you if we tried to resolve that case before you completed treatment. There are a few exceptions to that. For instance, if you um, had a severe injury and were in the hospital and required surgery, and there was only a $10,000 insurance policy, the, the, other, the liability policy from the other driver who was at fault would probably tender and pay that money immediately because they know that your, your injuries exceeded $10,000. But those kind of cases are rare. Most cases where there's adequate coverage are going to require the client to go through the process of treatment. Now, treatment can sometimes be completed in, in as short you know, as three months, and sometimes it goes long and, and can be a year or even a year and a half, depending on the need for surgery or multiple surgeries. So until you complete your treatment and you have a doctor saying, okay, uh, I have done everything I can do uh, to get you in your pre-accident condition, and this is, there is no more treatment, come back to me on an as-needed basis. When the doctor tells you that, that he's finished his course of treatment and you've followed through and been through rehab or gotten the injections or received the surgery, then it's time to, to call up your lawyer and say, okay, guys, the doctor says I'm through treating, uh, what's next? And that's when we continue to gather all the final records we may not have yet and proceed, and proceed to put together a demand package based on the injuries presented in the records that we get from your doctors. So um, we would be selling your case short if we tried to resolve your case at any time before you finish treating. So, um, and then there's a lot of other touch points. I mean, we have to get um, not only your medical records, but we've got to, to get the accident report. We've got to get all the repair records of the car Obviously, if a car was nominally damaged, it might give the insurance company credence to argue that it was not that significant of a collision. And so we like to have cars taken to body shops that are, are really thorough and have the consumer's interest in mind. And we like to get pictures of the car when it's torn down so that we can see all the underbody damage to the car and get a really true estimate of the, the car damage because obviously the more car damage and the more thorough the car repair shop is, the more we can document the, the extent of the actual impact. Um, and it's that impact, that, that collision that transfers into your actual body that you know causes your personal injuries. 
So um, there's a lot of touch points and it's not, it's not just come in here. A lot of people actually come into my office after being in an accident and they, they are under this preconceived notion that in a week or two, we're going to get them a check. And it just doesn't work. I don't know where that comes from because cases resolving that quickly um, are the, are the exception because there's no way you're going to complete treatment in a week or two. And, um, but that's a common myth that we continually have to dispel. So, um, you know, if you have any questions about your personal injury case, you know, I'd be glad to sit down with you or have a phone call with you and go over the touch points that we, um, we believe we have to do to properly, document and substantiate a, a, a solid personal injury claim on your behalf. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to talk to you and um, help overcome these myths that you come in here with. So my uh, email address is steve at brookslawgroup.com. That's steve at brooks, B-R-O-O-K-S, L-A-W-G-R-O-U-P.com. And I'll be glad to communicate with you about questions you have um, about the status of your or progress of your case or, you know, if you've got a friend that has questions, I'll be glad to talk to them too. Um, so thank you for joining us today. And next week we will, um, we'll try to come up with the second most asked, asked question that the, the case managers get and, and try to go through the top five so we can, um, can deal with all of them. Thanks again. Hope you have a great Easter weekend. Weather is supposed to be really nice here in Florida. So enjoy. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next Friday at 3 o'clock.